Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t power 3 over 2 equals 3 power 3 over 2. Solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. So, let's express this 3 over 2 as product of 3 times 1 over 2. Have t power 3 times 1 over 2. That is the same thing as 3 over 2. Equals 3 power 3 times 1 over 2. That is the same thing as 3 over 2. Now, if you have a power x times y, this equals a power x or power y, and also this equals a power y or power x. So we apply this identity right here. That means we have t power 1 over 2 to the power of 3 equals 3 power 1 over 2. 3 power of 3. Now, if you have a power 1 over 2, this equals square root of a. So applying this right here and here, what I'm going to have will be square root of t raised to the power of 3 equal this is square root of 3 raised to the power of 3. So I can decide to move this over here. That means I'll have square root of t raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. So right now, if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. And right now, my a is root t and my b is root 3. So we apply this right here. That means we are going to consider this. In order to expand, so we have a minus b will be square root of t minus square root of 3 times square root of t to the power of 2 plus square root of t times square root of 3 plus square root of 3 to the power of 2 equals 0. So from here, Of square root of t minus square root of 3 times this will be square root of t to the power of 2 plus square root of t times square root of 3. This is square root of 3t plus square root of 3 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So from here, I can equate each of these to zero. I have square root of t minus square root of 3 equals zero. I also have square root of t to the power of 2 plus square root of 3t plus square root of 3 to the power of 2 equals zero. To solve these equations, this two different equations. We start with this one here. I can move this over here. A square root of t equals square root of 3. Square root cancel square root of t equals 3. This is my t1. Now, to solve this other one here, this cancel this, this cancel this, so I have t plus square root of 3t plus 3 equals 0. So, I can move 3 over here. I move this one over here. A square root of 3t equals this is negative 3 minus t. If I take this squares, I'll put part of this equation, so this cancel this. 
authority equals this list negative 3 minus t times negative 3 minus t. Of 3t equals, let's multiply this out, negative 3 times negative 3, of 9, negative 3 times negative t, of plus 3t, negative t times negative 3, of plus 3t, negative t times negative t, of plus t squared. So from here, of 3t equals 9 plus 60 plus t squared, I will move this over here of 0 equals 9 plus 60 plus t squared minus 3t. 60 minus 3t, that is 3t. 0 equals 9 plus 3t plus t squared. So let's prearrange this of t squared plus. 3t plus 9 equals 0. So this is the quadratic equation that we are going to solve. And we are going to solve this using the formula method. So let's write the formula in respect to t. t equals negative e plus or minus square root of e squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. We have a equals 1, which is the division of t squared. b equals 3, which is the coefficient of t here. And c equals 9, which is the constant. So from here, t equals negative p. That's negative 3 plus or minus square root of b squared. That is 3 power 2. Minus 4 times a times c, that is 4 times a is 1, times c, that is 9, divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 1. So from here, of t equals negative 3, plus or minus square root of 3 squared, that is 9, minus, this is 36, divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals negative 3 plus or minus this is square root of negative 27 divided by 2. So from here, we simply have t equals negative 3 plus or minus this minus here, square root of negative 1 times square root of 27 divided by 2. So, this is i, I have t, was negative 3 plus 1 minus i times square root of 27, and express it as 9 times 3, divided by 2. Of t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9 times square root of 3 divided by 2. So from here, of t equal, this is negative 3, plus or minus i times square root of 9, that is 3, times 3 with 3 divided by 2. I can factor that 3 over 2 from here. T equals 3 over 2 of negative form plus or minus i times root 3. So we have two complex values for t. We have t2 equals 3 over 2 of negative form plus i times root 3. And t3 equals 3 over 2 of negative form minus i times root 3. So these are the two complex values. We have one real value for t, which is 3. So we can decide to verify by inserting each of these 
values. So we start with the real solution, which is t equals 3. This is t power 3 over 2 equals 3 power 3 over 2. So if t is 3, I'll simply have 3 power 3 over 2 equals 3 power 3 over 2. Now, if you have a power n over m, equals the m root of a power n, so applying that here and here, we simply have the square root of 3 power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3. Now from here we have square root of this is 27 equals square root of 27. This and this are the same. So guys, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.